Good morning. Two double hot toddies. Double on the good stuff. And a night's sleep will make you feel much better. Much, much, much better. Now, I had a question from yesterday's video about what kind of steel do I use. Now, sometimes it's easier just to show you than instead of just telling you what it is. Now, I use mainly recycled scraps, this and that. A lot of saw blades like these. These are 10 inch saw blades. Uh, 12 inch ones are better. But my 12 inch saw blade supplier, I reckon, is mad at me. But uh, that's okay. Um, I got a bunch of these 10 inch. Now, on the saw blades, I use only a quality blade like these old hams. That blade right there, that one blade, cost you $50 at most places. Um, the ones you get at Harbor Freight, you know, those saw blades, they may get you by in a pinch to cut a board with, but they will not make knives. I've already tried them. They're very, very inferior uh, steel. You don't know what it is. You really don't know what these are, but uh, especially the old USA made ones are very good. I've got a bunch of those out there, too. I believe Old Ham is still made in the USA. All right, this one, this is a thick, heavy blade. Doesn't have a label on I don't know where it came from. But it appears to be good steel. So this, this type of steel, uh, this is a section out of one of the, an old industrial bandsaw, which is very good steel. That got wet and rusted, but oh well. And of course, files. Now, same thing on files. Going to use a file that is a Nicholson USA made in USA. Now you can still get Nicholson files, but they're not made in USA anymore. And they're they're okay for files, I guess. The only problem with them is, as far as knife making, the steel quality is not consistent like it was years ago. And that goes with all the brand files, like the ones you get at Harbor Freight. Got to heat them and needle them in a fire. And chances are they're going to burn up and melt on you. They're not not worth fooling with. But are these mainly files are you? I usually forge those. Uh, but you can stock reduction those too on a bigger one, which I'm going to do here with this one. Uh, farrier rasp like this. I showed you all these the other day. My buddy Tim sent me. Uh, these are very good. Now these are wide enough and not quite so thick so I can stock reduction that too. Which this is, part of this is going to be my new carry knife. And I'll show you all that before the week is over with. Other things, uh, my buddy Paul sent me a bunch of these. These are blades off a piece of farm equipment. Uh, I believe it's an old combine or a disc or something. And... I just realized looking at my paperwork the other day, I still owe Paul a knife. I forgot, buddy. I'm sorry. I'll get it done. But that type of thing. Uh, now, the 1095s and the 01 tool steels and all that, I have used all that before. And that is much, much easier to work with than this stuff. Because this stuff, I have to get it shaped, annealed, work it, and reharden it. And I would the, the ten, mainly the 1095, when you order that, you can get whatever width you want, basically, whatever thickness you want. It's already softened, so you can just go straight to work on it. You don't have to do a lot of steps. The drawback to it is, it is expensive. Now, the steel itself is not so bad um, price-wise. If you were close enough, you can go in and buy it. What gets me, well, what gets you on the uh, steel is the shipping. Uh, I ordered, the last that I got was like $30 worth of steel, and it was $36 to ship it. You know, so right at $70. And if I use that all the time, I could not um, offer knives for the price I do. 
that's why you see a lot of custom builders that use that kind of stuff that's why their stuff is so high a, a lot a lot of reason is because the whatever material you use you got you got to uh, compensate your money and if I make a camp knife that one's 1095 right there that one out of 1095 is going to cost me at least 10 15 dollars more to make than one of these makes sense uh, I'm fixing to retire this one and I'm going to get my new one done and I think uh, Master Sergeant has already spoke for that one I've not heard from old Master Sergeant in a couple of days I'm going to have to call him and harass him I guess he's okay maybe the Pentagon called and needed some people taken care of so that's what he does, you know, Pentagon calls him and he goes and handles stuff. <laughs> Call me, Air Force. Alright, so there, just to answer your question about the steel, uh, basically any kind of scrap I can get a hold of. Now I've got more stuff out there, I've got coil springs, I've got leaf springs for forging. I've got old chisels, old, more old files, i got all kinds of stuff. Basically, any kind of old, old quality steel will uh, will make a knife. All right, that answer your question. All right, we get. I got to get going. I'm a day or a day and a half behind from being sick, so I'm okay now. So I'm gonna get to it, and whatever I get done today, I'll show y'all after a while. All right, it's time to go in. It's uh, only almost 3 o'clock, but I don't want to overdo it. I've got roughed out, ready to grind and etch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And there's two more over there. Ten blades this morning. I think I did pretty good. Like I said, I've got final grinding. Not final grinding, but got more grinding to do. I uh, got this one. That's going to be mine. With that. And I'll show you all that later. Unless somebody falls in love with it. Y'all know how that goes. So, huh. Let me show you something else I got right quick. Um, yesterday, Ricky Jr. brought me my new cards. Uh, he ordered them and printed them up. Now the only difference in these and the old ones is this one has the website on there. Because when we did the first batch of cards, I didn't have the website back then. Uh, Y'all see that? But in every knife order, there will be one or two cards in there. And I did not put my phone number on them because... Uh, that's my email address, which is also the PayPal address. Uh, Facebook page is there. Uh, YouTube channel is there. Now the website is there. So all that information's there. Thank you, Ricky Jr., for getting those for me. Because I tell y'all, when it comes to doing stuff like that, ordering stuff like that, I have no clue. And he can just, brrr, you know, and he's, there it is. So, I'm going to go in for today. Actually, I've got to go build a fire in the grill. It is Valentine's Day. Which I sort of, almost, maybe, sort of, a little bit forgot. Was not prepared, so. I think I will build a fire in... I dug through the freezer and I found some, a couple of steaks. I think I'll cook mama a steak and uh, baked potato and whatever else I can find in there to cook. So uh, I'm going to try my hand at cooking for her tonight, which I can cook for me and I like it. But a lot of times everybody else don't like it, so. But I think I can manage a steak and a potato and maybe a piece of sausage or something like that. 
it goes on the fire I can handle it so y'all don't forget uh, grab your valentine give her a kiss unless she's down with a crud like mom is <laughs> and I think I'll stop right there before I get in too much trouble but uh do something do something and uh and for goodness sakes folks don't buy her a valentine's gift like a vacuum cleaner or a dishwasher or uh, a broom or something don't don't do it don't do it old man talking from experience there so <laughs> Alright, I'll get back out here tomorrow and get back on these and I'll show you what they look like. Uh, close to being finished and what it looks like. But, uh, oh, let me tell you what they are. Bait knife. They already came in just a little while ago. Bait knife. Camp, 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 J. Noel Skinner, J. Noel Skinner, Neck Knife. Those two will be available. How about that? That was mine. And one Ulu is all but done, and the other one will be ready here and there, too. And I'll show you all that maybe tomorrow. So, I thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. New subscribers, thank you all very much. Uh, thank you for being here. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoy it. If you don't, say, hey, a dummy, we don't like it, so. <laughs> I am not above criticism. Uh, if I do something y'all don't like, just tell me. Uh, if I have forgot anything that you wanted, I was supposed to send to you, like uh, Brother Paul. I'm sorry, I'm going to work on yours tomorrow also. If I forget you or forget to do something, Send me a message and say, hey, idiot, you forgot this and you forgot that. And so, uh, Ronald, that wood you wanted is going out in the next mail out. Because I am, uh, I do tend to forget things sometimes. That's why I write everything down. But sometimes I forget to write stuff down. So, uh, if I have forgot you, I'm sorry. But just please let me know. All right. I'm going now. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see y'all tomorrow.